Hi, this is Mary from First Makerspace, and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to create a name tag. So first you're going to go to Tinkercad.com and log into your Tinkercad classroom. Um, if you're a teacher, you're going to make sure to share this classroom code with your students. And if you're a student, you're going to make sure to get that classroom code from your teacher. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new design. And I always want to rename that design to something that I'm going to remember. So I'm going to put name, name, ta name tag, and then Mary. OK. So on Tinkercad, you always start with a work plane, which has a constrained um, size in terms of volume. And you also notice that it's going to have a grid that you're going to be using. Um, you can edit that grid between millimeters, inches, and bricks. And so I'm going to stick to millimeters for now. Um, and we're going to get started with our name tag. We're going to make our base first. And so when I'm taking a look at the different shapes that, that are a possibility um, in Tinkercad, I'm going to stick to the basic shapes. Um, and really the best shape to use uh, is the cylinder. And so I'm going to really start with a cylinder um, and really spread it out. Um, in terms of the size, um, the, the constrained size for the name tag is going to be um, no bigger than two inches by two inches. Um, that's actually quite big. Um, and so that's about 50 millimeters. And so in order to um, change the size over here, we're going to just um, click on it and that's going to be able to change the size. So we'll just make it the maximum size on each side. And, and it's about 20 millimeters tall right now. Um, I'm going to change that down to 10, and then it still looks a little bit big. So I'm going to change that down to 5. Um, and I think it could even be a little bit smaller if you wanted it to be. And so you'll notice that I'm putting, making a base for my name tag. There are a lot of different designs you can choose from. Uh, I'm choosing really the most simple design that you can come up with, um, just to give you an idea of how to get started. And so once you have a base, you're going to next do the, um, do the key ring. And so there's a couple different ways to do this. Naturally, you'd think that the ring would be a great shape, but it actually isn't a really great fit, um, unless you really want a really thin place for your keys to go through. And so I actually like the tube shape. And so I'm going to stretch it out. And we want this to be the same size that the same um, same length and width as, as the name tag actually is. Um, and so we're going to make sure that, that this is all the same size um, in terms of its height. And I'm going to group that together at the end of the day. And so we don't need to be worry about it being grouped together. But now notice if I drag it, it's going to come apart. And so before we um, do much more, we're going to make sure that we're going to group that back together. You can change the way that you view different objects on Tinkercad by coming up to this cube at the very top of your left hand screen. Um, and so it, right between the top and front hand views, you're going to notice that you have a pretty good view of which to work. But if you need to look at things from a different angle, you can also change the way that you're looking from them. Change your view, change your perspective. And so for the next step, um, I'm going to change my, change my perspective. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is centered here. And then I'm going to group it so that it stays together. And you're going to notice that it's all the way together here. If you have any questions about whether it's together, you can rotate it around to make sure. OK, I'm going to come back up to the top. And next, I'm going to work on my text. So there's a couple different ways you can do your text. Um, the first is just to do a simple layering of text. I 
I lost it there. So just to put it right on top of your name tag. And this works well for names that have any type of um, poss possible holes in them. So if you notice the A in the Mary has a, a hole. Um, and so if, if we were gonna 3D print that, that is actually not, it's gonna go all the way through. And so if, but if we layer it on top of it, it's gonna, it's gonna print a little bit differently. Now, if you change the perspective, you're gonna notice that's pretty tall. And so we're gonna make that a lot shorter. And this is a good place to just adjust it um, based on your preference. How big do you want it to be? And how tall do you want it to be? That's really going to impact the size of the printing as well. Obviously, a tall name is going to take a lot longer to print versus a uh, much shorter name. If you have a very long name, um, like Jacqueline, um, you're gonna make sure that you have a, you have a, maybe you're gonna need to create a design for a name tag that, um, that can accommodate that. And so when you're done, you're just gonna group that together so that it all sticks together. And at that point, you would be ready to go ahead and print. Um, I'm going to show you another way, though, to, to do the, the actual text. And so another thing you can do is to create a hole. And so if you click this hole button, it's going to allow you to... Um, to take the text and go all the way through. Oops. Okay. In order to create a hole, so in order for the any text to go all the way through the name tag, you're going to need to um, to make it a hole, but you're also going to need to make the height larger than the name tag, so it should go all the way through. And so you can you can use either make it um, you can increase the height using this um, scrolling bar over here. Um, or you, an ink, you can increase it by increasing um, the number on the height bar. So you can check to make sure that, that it's gone all the way through the name tag um, by uh, changing the perspective to make sure that it has gone all the way through. Although it looks odd, this is a finished product. And so in order to make sure that it's done, you're going to make sure that it's grouped together. And... Um, and then we have our, our name tag. And so uh, this would not be an ideal situation for the name Mary because of that, that little A that we talked about. It's going to fall out. Um, but for other names, um, it would be a great way to go. Um, and so um, there's many different ways that you can decide and design a name tag. And I hope that this tutorial has given you a few ideas on how you can design your own um, unique name tag. Happy making!